what's going on fellas welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and for today we're gonna be kicking off season two of infinite shadowland now before we get things started there's a couple things that i want to discuss with you guys first and foremost is something that most of you guys probably already noticed we're sitting on nine out of ten tokens shadow points cookies whatever you want to call them for these shadowland chests and that is because the tokens that we had left over from last week actually carried over to this week and that is pretty awesome because as you all know i was pretty salty last week when i wasn't paying attention in an entry mode and my guy miles was distracted paying attention to betsy that booty too fat my guy got laid out he died and we missed out on a token we got to the end ran out of characters to use and we had nine out of ten token and i was really pretty upset because i was like damn we're so close to this next chest and now these tokens are gonna get reset and they're gonna be forever lost to me and i could possibly get a ctp from a chest however we all saw what my rewards looked like last week they were hot garbage and i'm expecting garbage this week as well anyways i wanted to talk to you guys about the tokens and the fact that they don't get reset that's pretty awesome so if you get to a really high stage you run out of characters to use or your characters are just not strong enough and you get to a place where you have nine out of ten tokens right you don't have to worry next week you can just clear a stage once you get the 31 plus again and then you can open that chest so that's pretty awesome second thing i want to talk to you guys about is something that i talked about previously Last time I was talking to you guys, I said the best thing to do when it comes to dealing with the first 30 stages of Shadowland is to clear all of them using a single character. And honestly, that should still be your primary focus because it allows you to have as many characters remaining at the end when you get the 31 plus as possible. However, you want to make sure that you're using up all of your tier one characters as well. And the reason for that is because once you get the 31 plus, they're going to be completely lost to you. Like last week, I got to 31 plus and I had a bunch. I believe I had like 12 or 15 tier one characters remaining however once you get up here you don't even have access to them my initial line of thinking was that damn these characters are not going to be useful to me at the end when it comes to dealing damage or staying alive but if i get a relay i could put in one of those tier one characters with a really strong tier two character and just carry those characters so i can get additional tokens however that is not the case once you get the 31 plus those characters are completely locked out you don't even get the option to put them in a team so you can carry them right so what you should ideally be doing and what i actually did this week was i put in a couple tier one characters in addition to the characters i use the same characters basically to solo but i put in an additional i believe like 15 or so characters in these stages at tier one just to get the bonus rewards simply because even though the bonus rewards are trash you're getting like four star obelisk 20 gear up kids 20 dimension debris that kind of stuff it's better than getting nothing because once you get the 31 plus you're gonna get nothing for them you don't get access to them right so it's best to solo yes but you definitely want to make sure that you empty out all of the tier one characters because it's better to get something than to get nothing at all the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is refreshing the stages honestly i think you should try your best not to refresh as often as i did last week i spent a lot of gold refreshing stages and in the end i got no gold back and my rewards were pretty garbage to be honest with you guys so this week i'm pretty much gonna try my best not to refresh at all simply because i'm probably not gonna get any gold back so whatever stage i get if i have characters that can clear it i'm actually going to use those characters also this week i am not going to be soloing a damn thing i'm putting three characters on every team and if it's an entry mode i'm putting six characters in we're working smarter not harder because the rewards are not going to vary based on how high you get so basically getting to a high level like these guys here where they get to 105 you're working harder for the same rewards that i'm gonna get <laughs> lower at a lower level so yeah it makes no sense to work harder for the same rewards just seems like a waste of time in my opinion but that's just my opinion you're just basically feeding your ego and if that's fine for you that's fine for you but not for me anyways we're gonna move this thing along and we're actually gonna pick up a couple useless characters like squirrel girl 
and let's put in like we'll use my girl um chavez here to solo this and we'll put in hulkling since we're not going to use him anywhere yeah let's actually run this stage like this i'm pretty sure chavez should have enough damage to take these guys out they have almost 1 million hp a piece but yeah she should be fine last week i believe i used chavez on 24 what i did this week that i didn't do last week was some of the stages that i use tier 2 characters instead of using a tier 2 character because i was going for a solo last week this week i actually put three trash characters in and i just used those three characters in place of like somebody like chavez so i could save her because she's gonna guarantee me a token because she's tier two right so last week i believe i used a total of like 16 tier two characters or something like that 15 or 16 tier two characters this week i think i only use like eight or nine so that means i'll get more tokens this week than i did last week so that's what i'm going to be doing moving forward if you guys want to see some of the um trash teams that i used i'll try to record it next week so leave your thoughts in the comments because i know most of you guys only care for the solo videos which i really like doing the solos like doing solos with people like hulkling and stuff is really really nice and it's very fulfilling to do right but back in the day before i could solo i was really good at putting together teams of characters that are just really really bad but because of certain things about their kit like their crowd control and that kind of stuff they would work really good in unison and even at tier one with nothing really invested in them they could actually pull off a clear All right so that's what i've been i've been going back to my roots basically like if you go back to some of my videos uh, i'm just messing up here anyways if you go back to some of my videos from early on in my shadowland days you'll see what i'm talking about so we got three tokens here nice 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 all right 32 what you got for me Ooh, ooh, rumbles you see rumbles are a different story though hmm i'm gonna refresh this okay we'll take this the reason why i don't like rumbles is because you can't really control your characters and making sure that they stay alive is the best way to go about it so yeah when i see rumbles i'm probably gonna refresh can mysterio do this can mysterio do this well, yeah, we'll use Mysterio here. Also, Songbird could probably do this as well, but let's get rid of some of the other characters that are not going to have much value the higher up we go. Luke Cage, yeah. So we'll use Mysterio. Hopefully, he has enough damage to do this. So what's that? 2.8 million HP. Come on, Mysterio. What do I have on you? Still invincibility. That's... What? Oh, yes. The, this guy, bro. I got to... I got to get closer. There we go. Yeah, he can do this. He can do this. I'm just going to stay on his ass. Probably should have given him like Wiccan's leadership or something, but it's all good. Just so that these fights go by faster. It would have been nice if like when you get up to like 50 plus, the chest changes color and the probability of getting a better reward like went up. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like being like a 1% or a half of a percent chance of getting like a CTP, getting to like 70, it goes up to like a 1% chance, getting to 100. But I guess no, because then the people who are ahead, like the whales who like blow tons of money, they would have a better chance of getting a CTP and it would basically just turn Shadowland into pay to win. So yeah, I, th I think, <laughs> I don't know what I want them to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it makes sense so that like the stronger your characters are the harder you work the better your rewards should be but at the exact same time like it creates a larger gap between the people who have the funds to spend if you um make it so that getting to a higher stage gives you a better chance of getting better rewards so i don't know i don't even know man but i think they should get rid of some of the four star crap that's in this they should make it so that it's minimum five star all right because last week, all I got was pure four-star Urus, bro. I was, I was actually kind of bent. Like, you guys didn't see it in the video. But when I was, like, watching the video and seeing the stuff that I got, bro, 
I was I was kind of cheesed. I can't lie. I was I was vexed, bro. I was like, what the heck is this, bro? All that effort, hours of of like just trying to min max my characters. I'm actually like doing real bad here, but it's fine. He's gonna he's gonna survive. He's gonna survive. Let's go. I think this is like one of the first. Ooh, crap. This might actually be one of the very first time I've ever used Mysterio on this stage. I'm actually doing really bad. <laughs> Hopefully they change him up when he gets a uniform. I'm saying when, like I know it's going to happen, but if it doesn't happen, that would be stupid. Be a missed opportunity, right? For um, Far From Home. So nice, none of my characters died. Got rid of two people who I'm not going to use later. Nice, 33. Nice, we got this again. All right, so let's use another blast character to carry somebody. Who are we going to use? Let's use Mantis here. Mantis is really good. Let's pick up two speed characters who I'm not going to use later. Should I get rid of Ghost? Yeah, let's get rid of... Actually, no, Ghost is a super villain. Let's actually leave him. Let's get rid of Gwenpool. And let's get rid of Electra. Yeah? Let's do it like this. Watch me get rid of all my speed characters and then I get hit with a rocket raccoon boss. <laughs> I'd actually be too upset. Anyways. So this guy has 3.2 million HP. Mantis got this, bro. Mantis, you got this, baby. Actually, I'm looking at the numbers, and he might actually be a lot closer than I thought. Come on, Mantis. We might actually need to give her a leadership. Well, wow. either that or he's going to come real, real close to a failure. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think we needed to give her, um, oh boy, I think we need to give her Wiccan, she needs a leadership, that kind of sucks, that's fine, at least we figured it out, oop, what did I do, anyways, at least we figured it out early, so we didn't waste too much time here, why am I in the, uh, combat type, I don't know, let's do like that, and like that, that should be fine. Now, Wiccan, I'm going to use your fifth skill. Don't get killed. This guy, bro. <laughs> wow. How does Kingpin cancel out your fifth skill, bro? Kingpin doesn't even have iframes, bro. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like, Wiccan, why are you so trash, bro? How are you the son of Scarlet Witch, bro? Your mom is such a beast. You're a failure, bro. You're a failure. Failure. <laughs> oh my goodness like i just want so badly for him to be useful you know what i'm saying but he's so bad man like his tier 2 passive is decent for the team well decent for like corvus right because then he gives a little bit of ignore dodge and his leadership is eh, not great but it's it's usable for situations like these but like damn man his skills also look really cool but no substance behind it just all flash yeah looks like this is what we needed to do for the damage oh really hold up her melee is physical i was seeing some reflect yep i'm seeing reflect one of her skills also look physical i don't know which one is it hold up Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the two. The first part of the two skill is actually physical. I think. This is gonna be close. Am I seeing reflect or am I seeing dodge? Yeah, I think I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm seeing reflect and dodge. Why does Kingpin have dodge though? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Bro, stop dodging. 
let me not do that again. I almost got her killed. It's so tempting to just use the auto attack button when you have no skills to use. But I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> I just don't want to die and have to redo this. We already had to like redo it already to pick a different leadership for her. Come on, Mantis. Come on, Mantis. Get it together, girl. Yeah, all the damage is on the four. Come on, we need one more four skill. Come on, baby. There we go. That Jedi lightsaber. So close. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, which one is this? This is the universal only? Okay, let's do this. I remember last week we did this and we tried to do it with um, Clea. And she got crushed, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. We came in and she just got destroyed. I wonder if she could do it this week. Oh my goodness. I don't want to try my luck. Let's actually put um, another useless character in here. White Tiger, you can go. We're going to try and do this with Heimdall. They got 1.3 million HP. That's fine. Sorry, Thor. I know we all friends and whatever, but it's all good. You know what I mean? Sometimes we just have to tussle. Okay. Chill. Yeah, I'm dog got this, bro. Part of me wants to um, test clear. Maybe we'll do that just a little bit. When um, Ronin comes out and we know we have this in the bag. Well, we got it. We got it. Heimdall is good. Where are you going, Thor? All right, clear. Don't die on me now. Let me see your four skill. What do I even have on you? I thought I gave her a CTP of transcendence. Yeah, she could have done this by herself, but her survivability is just so bad, especially when there's multiple enemies on the map. But if you can keep the enemies in that, woo, in that um, debuff or dispel zone, whatever, and make it so they can only use their basic attacks. Yeah, she's so bad, man. She needs more survivability in her kit. Her damage is pretty solid, but she needs way more survivability. Sad life. Another missed opportunity. What do we got? 35, baby. Hawkeye boss. Oh, this is an entry mode. Okay. I thought it was the boss. Okay, what are we going to do here? We need somebody with really, really good crowd control. Should we do it, guys? Should we do it? I know I shitted on him last week. Should we do it? Man, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's use Nightcrawler. Let's put um, Iron Fist can go in here. And who else? Who else? Who, who do we want to use? Let's see some heroes. I need to get rid of some low tier heroes. Ant-Man. Let's get rid of... Um, Team 2 is probably not going to get used. Well, not probably. Definitely not going to get used. So... Might as well get rid of, uh, hmm. I would get rid of some villains as well, too, because, oh, who do I want to get rid of? I oh, you, Singularity, Electra, and Vision. Get rid of, yeah, let's get rid of these guys. Now, Nightcrawler, your only value, your only value is in Shadowland. Don't you dare disappoint me. Oh yeah, he's he's <laughs> he's making light work of this. Yo, these guys are just getting tag team and <laughs> this is just vicious, bro. <laughs> Look at that ant. Say we're oh, I thought the ant carried over into this place. That would be awesome if he did. Then he could have two of those big ants. Oh hold up, hold up. 
I forgot there's a couple um blast types in here. Why they tagging up? Yo, why did they tag team in my um iron fist like that, bro? We oh gosh. She escaped. Where you going? Yo, iron fist, don't you dare die, bro. Don't you dare die, bro. I swear to god if you die. I'm gonna revive you and kill you again. Okay, good. Nobody died this time, right? Alright, cool. Everybody made it. Nightcrawler carried it. That's good. 36, what we got? Floor 3. Um, That modifier is nasty, but it's fine. We'll use another Blast character. I wonder if Songbird could do this on her own. Mm, her crowd control is really good, but I'm just wondering if she has enough damage. Mm, I guess we could use Iron Man here. Yeah, let's use Iron Man. And just um, throw in some more speed characters. We're just emptying all the speed characters. What else we got? Universal. Some trash universals. I want to get rid of... You know what? Get rid of you. Yeah. Can't think of anybody else I want to get rid of. Um, Speed. Rogue, I'm sorry, baby. You gotta go. Even though you survive. Actually, your survivability is really good for like an entry mode. Let's get rid of Craven. Alright, Tony. Let's go. Let's do this. 1.2 million HP each. Get blasted. Just gotta get rid of Blade because he has bleed. Does Hulkbuster have any burn? Nah, bro, it doesn't even matter because he <laughs> they're about to die way quicker than I thought. Like, my build for Iron Man is so shit because he doesn't really do much in any game mode. I'm hoping that changes with endgame, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, even PvE where he's supposed to be good, he's just not that good. And safe to say he has no PvP value at all. But damage is good on him, so hopefully the next uniform... Gives him exactly what he needs, which is survivability, to be honest. More survivability. All right, so let's actually drop some heroes here. Let's give Hulk some payback. Last week, he kind of like to shit the bed on us. All right, let's use Hulk. Wait, who else? Mm. Do I really want to get rid of all of my speed characters so early? Doesn't matter. I really can't think of who I want to get rid of. I have so many characters that I like. You know what? Black Widow. Let's go, baby. So 1.5 million HP each. Last week, Hulk kind of let me down. Not kind of. I mean, a lot. Let's get some pay to the back. There we go. Wait, Hulk has defense down? Hold up. Which skill is it on? It's on the fifth? Say word. Okay, you learn something new every day. I, I did not know that he had... It probably because it doesn't get applied in World Boss Ultimate. Yeah, it's on the fifth. And it's stackable. Say word. Okay. So he's a little bit better for Shadowland than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, he, he he's crushing this. Last week, he couldn't do 50 plus. I think it was 55 or 54 that I was using him on. Same exact stage. The guys had a ton of HP and he couldn't do it. Floor 3. We're going to keep that. Need another combat type. We'll use... Let's get rid of Scourge. Scourge and a couple of these speed characters. I know, I'm just tossing them left and right. Let's get rid of... um. Hmm... Let's see. Universal. Not Loki. Loki, I'm going to hold on for a little bit. Um, I can't really think of who I want to get rid of. That's the thing. When you solo so much that you know characters' potential, it gets really difficult to get rid of them because you know they're so good and they can do so much more. But it makes no sense to um go any further than you need to when it comes to this new Shadowland. Because it's not like World Boss Ultimate where pushing higher stages give you more raid level and all that stuff. So there's a point to it. 
In this, it's just literally your ego. That's it. But like I always say, I leave my ego at floor one when I step into Shadowland. It's all about the rewards, baby. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I usually leave it down there with Hulkling, but as you guys saw earlier, Hulkling made it up to 31 this week. That's because I used um, Crossbones at um, floor one instead this week, just because he's tier one and I was holding on to, like I said earlier, as many tier two characters as possible. So I did a lot of uh, team based um, clears this week. And I think that's what's going to be my priority going forward. A lot of teams of just mediocre trash characters. All the solos that I can already do with tier one characters will stay the same for the most part. I got canceled. That sucks. But anywhere where I was using a tier two character, I'm going to find a set of tier one trash characters and put them in. That way we can get more tokens, baby. Okay, so these guys are being really, really annoying. Okay, you know what? Let me just bring out Sandman just because Spidey, you being way too annoying. And Sandman is going to wrap this up way faster than Scourge. Peter, sit your ass down and go to bed. Like, Sandman is such a good character. Such a good character. I love playing him. Should really play him more. All right, floor three. <laughs> We're getting some really easy floors. Finally, a reason to use some speed characters. Let's use Elsa right here. And who, who are we throwing here? Let's get rid of, let's get rid of uh, Quasar, my bay. And let's actually get rid of a combat character as well. Why not? Mm, all these guys are so good though. The Doc, I'm sorry, Doc. Hopefully I don't accidentally get rid of all my villains and then get a villain stage and then I have to re-roll and waste gold. You know what I'm saying? That's the hard part. The hard part is knowing that characters are so good that you can do a lot more with them and then getting rid of them. I actually messed up that rotation there. It's actually supposed to be like five, three, two, one. Then four, back into five, All right? It's been a hot minute since I've used it. If you use that rotation, you can basically just go from damage immunity to iframe and be completely safe, like a like almost 100% of the time. There's a small gap, like a small little gap when she lands before the fifth. So if you land on like a um, trip mind or if the AI catches you slipping, or if they're too far away and you can't immediately trigger the um seriously come on girl are you really that weak you can't do this yeah damn elsa once upon a time you were the best there was it was a short reign but like damn girl you mean to tell me you can't do this damn girl you trash I'm so sad. You can't do this, guys. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to, um, we're going to drop the dock and put in Yondu and have him clean this up. Can't believe you, Elsa. Can't believe you for real, girl. You let me down. Where you going, Peter? This guy, bro. Okay. I need to get both of these two idiots together. They have a lot of HP, and I just want to keep them completely suppressed. I know this idiot is going to try to run somewhere. Yep, he's trying to get off attacks. Nah, bro. Just remember, I thought you were everything you know and everything you think you know. Just remember, it's Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> hello, hello. I got to watch out for Rocket. He's the, the most dangerous of the two. Because of that stupid defense down thing. Where's this guy running to, bro? I gotta be careful when I kill them and make sure that. Whoo, there we go. We have the um, immunity and the iframe from this skill. Oh, so. Whoo, got him. Oh, whoa, I thought I had them both. Just remember, Vision, it's on sight, bro. It's straight beef. I take pleasure in killing you so I can take you from 
woo, this world so I can claim Scarlet for my own. This guy, this guy heard me talking that smack. He's like, listen, 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 <laughs> Linda, listen. Oh my goodness. Yo, watching them get guard broken by the three skill is freaking awesome. Okay. Yeah, look at Iron Man. <laughs> They're just both getting rocked, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Die, Vision, you scum. <laughs> Scarlet belongs to me. Oh, my goodness. Yandu for the win. It's Mary Poppins, y'all. All right, stage 40. We're going to wrap it up after this one. What is this? Uh, I don't like this modifier. Mm, let's do it anyways. We're going to have to use somebody pretty powerful because it's a low stage, so they have a lot of HP. I want to get rid of Odin here. Can Odin even do this though? Um, yeah, let's get rid of Odin. Let's also use a Rack Knight as backup. And who else? Who else? I don't know who else I want to use here. Heroes, right? It's only heroes. Use a lot of characters. All right, let's use Rogue. Let's get, actually let's get rid of Kate Bishop because she ain't gonna do nothing later, anyways. All right, Odin, let's see if you can redeem yourself from last week. I got to try and get rid of uh, Rocket first. Let's see if I can pull them out of Ooh. all of that. I don't want to. Mm, I didn't want to go stand in that defense down thing, even though it's not the good kind of defense down. It's still pretty annoying. I see you, Gamora. Nice try. Trying to bleed me. Drax, you are of no concern. You are of no real value. I actually used Drax this week. Drax and um, Nebula to clear a stage together. They couldn't do it on their own. Because they're at tier 1 and I have like nothing invested. Also, don't stand in front of ooh, Gamora like that <laughs> in this particular stage. Because she's the deadliest character here. But it's all good. Where you go? Yo, Peter, I just talked to... Bro, I just spoke to you. We just had a discussion. Why are you back here doing this nonsense, bro? Like, stop, jump, stop jumping around and making this more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, you know what? Just, just go to sleep, bro. Arachnet would have actually made this much easier than Odin because he would have just CC'd them. But I wanted to use Odin because... There's nowhere else to really use him for anything. It's just so sad. It's so sad that no Marble kind of refuses to give this man a uniform. Anyways, man, we go wrap it up right here. 10 floors. And yeah, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Let's see, how many characters do we have left? Well, we got floor one with a 300% HP modifier. That's going to be interesting for later, man. Anyways, let's see. We have quite a few characters left it looks like we might actually get to like stage 60 with just the characters that we have without even trying but let's see how it turns out man i'll catch y'all in the next one